Hello everyone, it is January 30th, Tuesday morning, and I thought it'd be very fun to do a project roundup of all the things I worked on this month. Hi, my name is Emily. I am here on YouTube as Emily on a Whim, as well as over on Instagram as Emily on a Whim. I am a crafter. I dabble in crochet and some knitting. I'm trying to get back into knitting and embroidery, and I have discovered my new love of Bargello needlepoint. So. I thought it'd be just a fun way to kind of collect all the things that I've been working on and to talk about them a little bit more in kind of a show and tell format. I find this format very popular in the knitting community here on YouTube. And I tried it once last year. I just sat down and talked about all my projects and I actually really enjoy watching that video and just hearing all about the things that I'm working on and the things that I'm thinking about at the time. So I wanted to start this again um, this month, at the end of this month, and it's my hope to kind of continue this as we go about the year and just kind of see how I enjoy doing so. There's only a few things that I have to share today. Um, I only have a couple of FOs and one of them might not even be considered a proper FO, which is a finished object, um, but I'll start with my bookmarks. So I discovered my love for Bargello Needlepoint last year. My friend Sarah showed me and I absolutely fell, fell in love with it. I worked on a bunch of things for her last summer for a personal project and then I worked on a couple of tapestries. But then I decided I needed to combine that with my love of reading and so I decided to make bookmarks. So I made a bunch of them and they were really well received and I approached my friend Amy who has the online shop Cardinal Yarn um, over at cardinalyarn.ca and asked her if she'd be willing to host some of my bookmarks and she said yes. So I made her 17 bookmarks this month um, which has been really exciting and I've already sold a few which of course just I am so happy. I love that people are loving them and they've been such a fun project to make. I have one here that I'm planning on gifting somebody. This is the Bargello Needlepoint and what Needlepoint or what the Bargello is, is it is a type of embroidery that uses the upright stitch in some form of pattern, mathematical pattern to create a motif um, and you use a hard canvas and that's what that is sitting on. And then I decided to finish them off here, just kind of tidy up the back a little bit with some interfacing and add, of course, a tassel because tassels make everything cuter in my opinion. And um, so that's a gift for somebody, but I made 17 of these bookmarks over for Amy on her store um, and they are just being received really well. I also, moving forward, because I want to make, I want to continue making more for Carnal Yarn, um, but moving forward, the ones that I've noticed are getting a lot of love over on Instagram that people are generally really excited for are the patterns I've kind of thought about myself or added a little twist to. Chevron and Zigzag, everybody knows them. I can't really claim that as my own, but there was a couple that I kind of did a little twist for and they've sold. Um, there is a herringbone pattern that I tried and it sold. And then I did this beautiful star quilt pattern for a friend and people got so much love for that. So moving forward, I'm gonna kind of trust my gut, trust my creative gut, and just not be afraid to create things that might be a little bit difficult to figure out mathematically, um, but that in the end, they just look stunning. This is an art form that I really, really love, and I cannot wait to see where it takes me. The next FO that I have, I don't know if it's technically an FO because there's still ends to weave in, but I have knitted a whole bunch of dishcloths for consignment. A few of these I might have knitted, I might have knitted in December. Um, I cannot remember what colors I worked in December versus what colors in January, but I have 22 of these now ready to go. So I just love the colors. It makes me very, very happy. But these are for consignment. Um, they don't, they're not due until the end of February. So I'm, I am hoping to build more before they get picked up. I really like working on these in the car. I find that they're a small enough project that it's really easy for me to take. Um, also a mindless project. I don't have to bring my pattern or have to think too hard about them. When I first made these in September, I was doing just a very skinny border. I was doing a knit one yarn over, knit to end a row, and it created a really cute skinny border, but I'm actually quite enjoying this thicker one, which is knit three yarn over. So I usually cast on five stitches, knit three, yarn over to the end of row until I get to about 45 stitches. And then to go backwards in the decreasing, I knit two, knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, and do that to decreasing until I get to about eight stitches. And then I just knit two together until I have 
one remainder. So those are my lovely dishcloths. Again, just loving all the colors. I love the colors that the cotton comes in. Um, hoping to make more two on and off. Um, but February, I think I'll be focusing on making some crocheted flower dish cloths because I need to get that stockpiled now. So yeah, another FO. In terms of knitting, I have been working on a shawl and I've been, tr oh, I've been trying to work on a shawl. This is now my fourth attempt at it. Loving it, nothing wrong with the pattern, just I've been more into crocheting over the past few years, so I find my fingers feel quite clumsy with needles, but I'm really enjoying the project. This is the Jamie shawl, Jamie's shawl by Cozy Up Knits. I've wanted to make this shawl for such a long time, um, but I kept making mistakes when I first cast this on, um, but it's grown a little bit now. I've worked on it again. I think I'm still making a mistake in the texture section, like this side looks different than this side, but that doesn't bother me as much when I accidentally purl down here. So I'm gonna leave it as is and keep on going and see how far I can get with this. Um, but it's already quite squishy. I really do like the fabric and the yarn. This was just a big massive ball I bought once upon a time and I picked it out because of the color, which I love. I'm so excited that this one day will be one big squishy shawl that I can curl up in. There's the spine. That was what I, one of the problem areas that I was having when I first started it, but it's looking much better now and all that. Ah. So that's again, the Jamie shawl by Cozy Knits. And then the last big project that I've been working on this month is my corner to corner scrappy chunky yarn blanket. I definitely have a lot of videos of me working on this in the past and I, one of my last videos where I worked on it was actually a crochet with me, a craft with me video. But one of the yarns I used was very, very chunky and it ended up making my blanket quite bulgy, which I did not like. So the projects kind of sat in time out for a while. But here it is, it's corner to corner. So it starts off at, at the peak and then just builds on either side to get to the right like shape that you would like. I've had a lot of thicker yarn that I had no purpose for, and so that was the point of this blanket, was just to give them purpose. And I've since decided that I'm actually gonna donate this blanket, um, which means that there's a particular size that I have to aim for, and what I currently had was way too big, so what I've been working on this month has actually been ripping out a lot of the yarn. And by me, I mean I've recruited my kids because they think it's fun, and then I don't have to sit there and cry. <laughs> so I got them to rebuild a bunch of yarn for me and I'll be working on this again now that it's the appropriate size. And it's a good thing too because I was running out of yarn at the size that it was. Um, so I'm happy that I was able to rip some back and hopefully now I have enough to actually finish it and give it a proper border too. So yay. I really do like having a blanket on the hook. I find that it is another mindless project just like the dishcloths are, just on a much larger scale. So perfect for movie watching, perfect for having conversations with friends and family. Sorry if you now hear my cat, she's playing with her toy. Um, so I'm really hoping that I can always have a blanket on the hook and I can make a big stack of them for donation this year. That is one of my goals. So that is the end of my whips. And now just to talk about my hopeful plans for February. I do need to work on my consignment order now. So I've made a whole bunch of knitted dish cloths. So now it is my focus on making crocheted flower dish cloths. I made a bunch of these in November and everybody loved them. They sold really well. So now I'm hoping to make up a big stack of them too, as well as to work on some crocheted bumblebees. I was going to work on these in November, but ended up not because bumblebees did not scream Christmassy and I thought I could kind of put them off a little bit longer. So now it is almost, well, it feels like spring, but it's it's getting closer to springtime now. So I feel like the bumblebees actually fit in a little bit more. So that is another hopeful project that I get to this month is to make and finish off a large stack of them for consignment. And then I've got a couple of personal projects for my kids. They've requested these items such a long time ago um, and I just keep putting it off, which I feel really, really bad about. Um, I always my hope to work on these during vlogmas and I did a little bit but then I ran into a couple of things until a couple of problem areas that I needed to actually discuss with the kids um, and which meant I couldn't keep them a Christmas surprise so it is my hope for February to actually get these guys done both of the amigurumi designs come from this book here 
Um, and I've shown them over on Vlogmas, but I'll show them again. One of them is a phoenix. So I can't wait to make her. And the other one is a goblin, which I don't know, might be my favorite design in this entire book. Like, look at him. So already the kids have kind of tweaked the patterns out to kind of fit their more personal styles. So I'm really excited to see how they build up. Um, but that is another, a couple hopeful projects that I get to in February. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed seeing all my projects that I've been working on lately together in one video. Um, it was a lot of fun to be able to explain them a little bit more and to discuss future plans. Please let me know what you're working on. Um, I would love to know. Bye, friends.